Back in the early 70s, if you called yourself a video gamer, well, people would probably look at you funny, but also it would mean that you basically played one video game, Pong. It was a successful 1972 arcade game by Atari that eventually spawned dozens, if not hundreds, of Pong consoles that to this day you can still find quite easily. Then around 1975, Nolan Bushnell and Steve Bristow came up with the idea to make a single-player version of Pong, where the player would have to destroy a wall of bricks by bouncing the ball off their paddle. They commissioned a young businessman named Steve Jobs to help build them a working prototype for $750. As a bonus, Steve would get an additional $100 for every chip fewer than 50 that he had to use, since it would reduce Atari's cost to build them. So Steve reached out to his hardware and video expert Steve Wozniak to help build the game and would split the earnings. Well, after four sleepless nights, Woz built the game using only 42 TTL chips. Jobs delivered the board to Atari but kept the bonus money for himself, something Woz would later find out about and be quite upset over. Atari claimed not to use Waz's design because it was too complicated and unorthodox, and they built their own, although Waz himself claimed not to see any difference between the two games. A short while later, Waz designed the Apple II with the goal of being able to replicate Breakout using the integer basic that he was designing. Once he completed the low-res graphics and color commands, he wrote Breakout in about half an hour. It was at that moment that Woz realized that games would never be the same, since they could now be programmed using software rather than built using hardware. You could now change things like the color of the paddle and the bricks within seconds, whereas it would take considerable time and money to change them using hardware. And thus we have Little Brick Out. Now this is actually the 1979 re-release version, basically the same game, just programmed in Applesoft Basic. Brickout is a dynamic board game in which you attempt to knock down a wall of bricks with a ball struck by your paddle. It's just funny to read formal instructions on how to play a breakout game, a game that is so part of our culture that it's remade and reimagined year after year. And now here we are playing Steve Wozniak's version. Well, technically his was an integer basic, which is actually a faster language than Applesoft, but it wasn't floating point. But still, it's basically the same game. And it is a challenging one. you got to be pixel perfect, and there's not a lot of pixels. And to make matters worse, I don't have a paddle to use, and you're really supposed to use one for this kind of a game. I'm actually using a joystick, which is not as sensitive, and hence why my movement looks so jerky. On a positive note, the game does run fast, especially for an uncompiled basic game. And especially considering the fact he programmed this in 30 minutes. If that's really true, that's just crazy. But then again, it's Waz we're talking about. I shouldn't be surprised of anything. It's kind of funny. Whenever I think of breakout games, I still think back to my freshman year of high school when I was taking the first HTML class the school was offering. And in between projects, I would download shareware games off the internet, and one of them was a Xena Warrior Princess breakout game. Yeah, try to wrap your mind around that one. And it was just a lot of fun to use her shock room to break things. And I'm probably totally romanticizing it, and it was actually horrible. But for a kid in the 90s playing this game at school, it was about as good as it got. And now I think I'm actually going to go try to find it right after this video. But there you go. Game over. Your score is not bad. The hell is that supposed to mean, Waz? It's not good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this look and review of Little Brickout. Thanks for watching.